Hi everybody, this Blender tutorial is all about the Build Modifier. The Build Modifier is an animation tool that animates the construction or building of an object. We will cover everything about the Build Modifier, but we'll give special attention to how to rearrange the Build Modifier order, meaning the order in which Blender builds the faces of the object. This looping animation you see was created using a whole bunch of Build Modifiers. To demonstrate the Build Modifier, we are going to start with a UV sphere, so we have lots of faces to work with. The build modifier only cares about faces. That'll be important when we get to the build modifier's order. Simply select the object you want to add the modifier to and go to the modifiers tab. Select add modifier and find build under the generate column. You can see it's a pretty simple modifier with only a few straightforward options. Play the animation from the beginning and we can see that it's already working. The start frame is the frame of your animation where you want the object to start being built. It defaults to frame 1 regardless of where you are in your timeline. So if we want this object to start generating, or degenerating, at frame 50, put 50 in this box. The next option is length. This is the length in frames of how long you want it to take your object to be built. It's not the in frame of the build process, important distinction there. As it displays now, this build will start on frame 50 and end on frame 150 because it will last 100 frames. If you want the object to be built faster, decrease the number of frames it takes to be built. To slow it down, increase the frames. The reversed box, you guess it, reverses the animation. So the object will begin as being fully constructed and then it will deconstruct backwards. And randomize causes the face to build or deconstruct in a completely random order. You can change the seed value of the randomization to change the random effect. And that's all the options there are on the build modifier. So say we don't want it to build randomly, and we don't like the way it defaults to. How do we change the build order for the build modifier? To change the order in which it builds, select the object and press tab to enter edit mode. Select all of the faces by pressing A. Make sure we are on face select mode because as I said earlier, the build modifier only cares about faces. Whenever you have an object in Blender, behind the scenes, Blender has all of its elements listed out in a specific order. Like this face will be number one, and this face will be number two, etc., etc. We don't see that list and we don't need to care about it, except that the build modifier builds the faces in the order they are sorted in that hidden list. So with all the faces selected in face select mode, we can go to mesh and go down to sort elements and we see some options to reorder the faces of the object. The first option we come to is view Z axis. This sorts the faces from farthest to nearest based on the current viewport view. Select this, and then let's go back into object mode because the build modifier won't display in edit mode. Let's play the animation, and we see the sphere is being built in the way we ordered the elements. So let's say we want the opposite of this, and we want to build it from closest to furthest. We tab back into edit mode, go to mesh, sort elements, and choose reverse. This reverses whatever order we had before. The next sort option is view x-axis. This will sort from the left to the right of your current viewport view. You could of course go right to left by choosing this and then choosing reverse. Cursor distance is a good one. You can place your 3D cursor anywhere in your scene and it will sort the elements based on the distance from the cursor. So if we place it here and go to Mesh, Sort Elements, Cursor Distance, the build modifier will build the faces closest to where we had the cursor first, and what was farthest from the cursor will be built last. Again, we can always choose reverse to flip this order around. The material option sorts by material. So I will give the sphere two materials in a checkered pattern. If we sort the materials and play the animation, the blue materials are built first and then the red materials. That's because in the material panel, the blue material is on the top and the red is on the bottom. If we select the blue material in the panel, move it down, and then do this all over again, it will build the red materials first because red is now on top. Notice it still builds in the direction we had before. The sorting orders kind of stack on top of each other. And the next option is selected. If we select some of the faces of our mesh and then sort elements by selected, it will take the selected faces and move them to the front of the order. But however we had it sorted before will kind of be the secondary order. So in this case, it builds our blue selected faces, then our red selected faces, then the blue unselected faces, and then the red unselected faces. This is probably going way beyond what you were looking for, but we can keep doing this with different parts of the mesh and it creates some interesting orders for our build modifier. The next option is randomize, which creates a random order for the faces. 
the reason you'd use this instead of the randomize button on the build modifier is that you can randomize just certain portions of the mesh and it'll kind of bring into play that secondary sort order like we just talked about. The last option is reverse. We kind of already looked at that, but it reverses whatever sort order we have right now. So each of these options only affect whatever you have selected and you can sort of mix and match them to get interesting builds. The only other thing to mention is that these sliders on the build modifier are technically able to be animated. Animating the start frame doesn't seem to do anything, but you'll notice the build modifier works at a uniform pace, meaning that it starts building at one speed and it ends at that same speed. What I have learned you can do is to animate the length slider to either have the build process speed up or slow down midway through the animation. Just so you can see this, I will clean up the sort order. I'll have the build start at frame one. I'll go to frame one and I'll keyframe the length at 100. So it'll start building at this rate at the beginning. Then I'll go to frame 50 and keyframe it at 100 as well. But then I'll go to frame 100 and change the length to 50 and keyframe it there. So it should build at a slower speed for the first half and then speed up for the second half and it should actually end well before frame 100. So look at that, at frame 50, it is halfway built, but it is entirely finished around frame 75. It's sped up halfway through the build. Anyway, probably way more than you needed to know, but if it helped at all, giving the video a like is all the appreciation I ask for. If you're interested in other tutorials like this, consider subscribing and turning on your bell notification. My name is Brandon, and I'm just an amateur digital artist who loves using Blender. I would love to see you on Instagram where I post my work, but in any case, Blender is so awesome. Stay creative. Thank you.